Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about lacrimal gland benign mixtura. Before to understand about the imaging of the benign tumor of the lacrimal gland, we will have to understand what is Sydney benign mixtura of lacrimal gland. It's in something like like pleomorphic adenoma, benign epithelial neoplasm of lacrimal gland. Any imaging can be show of unilateral circumscribed lacrimal fossa mass with scalaboni remodeling, anterior superior Latra anterior superior temporal hexagonal orbit. Majority originate in orbital loop of lacrimal gland. CT mal heterogeneity. Occasional high state classification. I might increase conspicuity of cystic element, moderate to mark enhance on contrast enhanced CT and T1 number. Let's see the first example. So this is the axial lung enhanced CT. So a 40 years old man with preatoma and suspected hematic cyst right orbit. Pathology show benign mixture. The right lateral gland is in line, wise with arrow indicated, and relatively hypodent to the normal left lacrimal gland, Y O N L when hit. The subtle scalloping of the lateral orbital wall, like solid arrow in the tail. And this is another example on the coronal view. of non-contrasting MCT in the same patient as the first example, so that the non-classified hypodermis visually arrow in Q is centered in the lateral uh, hebra coincident of the lacrimal gland, right open arrow in the The density of the mass is similar to the extra ocular muscle. And this is the axial T2 of all of the same patient. So the well circumscribed mass why should it arrow anything? I saw them. I saw tens to lacrimal gland tissue. Plus that hyper in ten, you see, they represent a complement of cystic change. In the coronal T1 C plus have as a whole, the same patient, so enhance of the mass in the right lateral gland lies with arrow in the cave. The axial compression and CT, so a slightly heterogeneous Basic comes from enhancing superior lateral 
Oh, with a mask, wise with arrow in your head. Lang from a grand benign makes human. Small intonances, wide curved arrow in your head. I have common finding. Note the outside, opposite double, long from a grand wide open arrow in your head. Axial man contrast in hand CG, so a well defined globular mass of the left lacrimal brain, white split arrow in the benign mixture with internal classification identified posteriorly white curved arrow in the Again, the axial contrast in hand CT, so the heterogeneous well defined region in the left lateral moment, why should it have a theory without invasive feature or bone destruction? Thank you.